Hi, today we're going to be comparing the cleaning performance of the Xiaomi robot vacuum here on my left and the iLife V7 here on my right. Um, before that, I'll, I'll just quickly show you the difference uh, of this robot, um, mainly the motorized brush. I'll just flip this two over. This is the Xiaomi. Uh, I mean, this is the iLife V7 here and the Xiaomi robot vacuum. I'll just show you the motorized brush uh, the Xiaomi and the V7 I like V7 has has similar design brushes here that they have sque squeegee and they have a squeegee and a bristle here both are stiff bristles and the Xiaomi has a wider has a wider cleaning path here as you can see compared to the V7. I've made a separate video comparing the features of the two and I'll link to it below but for now um, what I'm gonna focus here is the cleaning performance particularly cleaning 70 grams of oats and powder. I'm not gonna be showing you the, act, um, the weighing scale I, uh, uh, it's it's 70 grams oats and powder which I'll scatter on the floor and at the end of each test I'll weigh how much of the 70 grams these robots are able to pick up and let's get started first up is the iLife V7 here as you can see I've added a wrinkle to this test I placed a chair right in the middle of the room and scattered um, powder around all four, four, um, all four posts of the chair and with my, as with my other test I've also scattered um, debris on the sides there to test the edge cleaning test the edge cleaning here and here and here right here in the middle I've add, I've scattered powder also over there at the edge near the door and let's get started with this test. As with all my tests, I'm gonna time both of these robots how long it takes for them to clean most of this mess. With the Xiaomi, um, the time will be provided by the app. I'll also um, I'll also um, use a use the digital stopwatch digital timer in my phone.
Okay, I stopped the robot at around the 17 minute mark here. And I, I noticed that it has picked up most of the dirt, most of the oats and powder scattered on the floor. And let's see the result. Um, let me just move the um, pan the camera around. Here's the edge here. Um, it has cleaned most of the oats and powder here. And over here, it has cleaned most of the oats and powder in this area. And around the chairs, around the chair, the legs of the chair. Um, for the most part, um, I was able to pick up a lot of the dirt, a lot of the powder and oats I scattered around the four legs of the chair. Let me just give you a closer look here. Let me just move the tripod, give you a closer look here. It did leave some crumbs here. It leaves some bits and pieces here. And here at the area behind the chair, these are the biggest trouble spots here. The area behind the chair. And the biggest would be here on the edges, the area near the door. This is where the round shape of this robot, or any round shaped robot, um, it didn't reach the edge quite as well as I'd hoped. Um, this is where the round feature of the robot um, is not good. It, it suffers in cleaning areas like this, at the corners. And let's see how much dirt this robot was able to pick up. Okay, I have the robot here in the weighing scale. Let's just open the robot and see the dirt bin here. Um, it's pretty filled up here. You can see it's, it's, it's almost full here based on what I've seen. Well, not full, but mostly full. And let's open it. Um, let's quickly open it. And let's just move the weighing scale aside and op see how it, how much it has here. And you see that you can see that a lot of the powder went through the filter here. Seep through the filter. And let me just open the weighing scale. Let me just move the camera. Turn on the weighing scale. Just to see how much this robot was able to pick up. And I'll just turn on, turn on the scale. Just move it closer here. And I have a brush here to just scrape off the powder before I take it off. So far it has pick up around 50, 56. Just open this here just to let everything out. It has able to pick up 62, um, 62 grams, 64. Uh, 64 grams out of the 70, 65. Let me see if it can able to pick up more. It's able to pick up around 65, 65 grams out of the 70. And let's move over now to the Xiaomi robot vacuum. Okay, now I have the Mi robot vacuum. And I've laid out a similar um, trail of dirt here. Um, as you can see, there are, there are powder and oats on the four legs of the chairs and on the side there on my right, and another here near the tripod here on the left hand side of the robot. And I've also scattered dirt near the door. And let me just show you the area near the door here. And in an area on the chair, I've scattered dirt on the four legs of the chair. And now let's get started with the Xiaomi robot vacuum. Let's see how much it will be able to pick up.
you're not familiar with the Xiaomi Rode vacuum, it uses the same um, navigation features as the Nito Bot Fat Connected, meaning it uses a laser guided system and the SLAM, SLAM system found in the um, Nito Robotic Vacuum. So this robot will clean the perimeter area first and move on towards the middle and it will do it twice um, since I upgraded the firmware this robot and you can find a detailed review of this robot um, on my website and I'll link to that below in the description area Okay, the Mi Robot Vacuum um, finished the job in around 13 minutes, almost 14 minutes, 13 minutes and 53 seconds. And for the most part, it has cleaned a majority of the dirt um, much faster than the um, 
high life robot vacuum as far as the edges here it basically has cleaned almost everything here I don't see any oats or powder scattered here and over there there might be a, there may be a few pieces left over there there's one one oat here let's just move over on the chair area here how, let's see how it did around the chairs and you can see that there's some powder debris um, scattered on the floor here and there are some oats that that was swept swept in this area by the side side brush here and the biggest trouble spot for this or at least for this cleaning test would be that area over there on the edge again that's the round shape of the robot um, because it has a round shape edge cleaning suffers corner cleaning I mean corner cleaning suffers and it's left a pile of oats and powder right there and the side brushes weren't able to reach it and let's see how much dirt this robot was able to pick up okay let's open the robot and see the dirt bin first as you can see it's pretty much pretty much full here um, we look on top with the top um, you can see that dirt has pretty much filled up this rope this this bin here and let's let's move all towards the weighing scale right now and see let's just give it give you a closer look at the weighing scale to see how much exactly how much um, powder and oats this robot was able to pick up and right now it's just scrape off it's able to pick up roughly 63 currently at 63 grams let's see if can able to pick up more it's at 65 grams scraping up as much as I can here it's at 65 65 grams All right, it's up it's at 65 grams and surprisingly it was able to pick up uh, as much, much dirt as the as the V7 for, for this test here and which is kind of surprising to me um, since this robot um, is much more in my previous test it picked up a lot more um, 69 out of the 70 but um, as a final as a final remark um, this robot again uses the same navigation as the bot vac connected which makes it more which makes it more efficient it was able to did do the job in around four minutes three or four minutes less time than the um, v7 and if you have any questions again if you have any questions suggestions comments again um, shoot them below in the comment section I'll be happy to answer them and I'll see you in the next video thanks again for watching